I was already as someone's assistant <laughs> captain for about six six years. About yeah. six years. So um, when you know that you know it's something sooner or later that is going to happen. So you just need to prepare yourself and learn from as someone who was the captain, get the little guidelines. Because any decision that was already supposed to be taken, you have the senior players who are there, you have the assistant and you have the captain. So you're already in in that group of leaders and you keep taking bit by bit, bit by bit. And it's always an issue, you know. Um, that's why I say you have to know where you are in your society or the country you are, the mentality of your country, how people see things, how people understand things, and which is very important. Today is like this, tomorrow is going to be like that. The captainship in our country will always be so a, a debate sooner or later. Yeah. The next one who is coming, it will be another debate. Debates. The next one who is coming in 10 years will be another debate. So that's how, how, how it, it is and we need to anybody tomorrow is going to be the leader of a national team should be ready for that because we can't take it away you know so there are things we just need to learn from prepared, so prepared it comes and we let it brush off like right. nothing you know. anymore so we will take the, um, our senior season and in the last of the rich the only thing i can say is that god has blessed me that i can eat i have a room i can drive my car i can take care of my my children and my family so for me so, so he's okay eh? he's okay <laughs> all right that's right okay. but seriously how are you managing your success you've had a successful career um, from strength to strength from that 18 year old to the mature that you captain the team how have you managed the success and the fame that comes with it just briefly on that yeah. and we move to the big one no with the less slide we share no problem um huh. this is a big one um this is a big big one i think for any of you sitting here i believe that most or a lot have plans, have ideas, have um, dreams which will be achieved and fame can come to anyone, huge success can come to anyone if, if it's well dealt with and well planned. But for my part, I think um, it came quickly, it came when I was not expecting it. Um, as soon as I became professional at 18, everything started to to, to jump and I was jumping phases every time. So the fame arrived and I was I had no other choice than to be able to deal with it and to, to be able to grow with it. That means you have to be careful in what you say, you have to be careful in what you do, you have to be careful who's around you. You know it's, it's, it was quite not easy but the most important thing I say is your surrounding your family, the people around you who can help you, you know be stay stay focused and be low rounded right there's a question for you someone want to ask a question yes uh, lo uh, love you right mm -hmm. to to decide what we want to do in for ourselves and in our lives and for me personally i'm a muslim born and born muslim from mother and father's side so um i grew up with those virtues i grew up with those mentalities i grew up learning the quran um we have things that is part of us, or is part of the family. It's part things that our parents believe in, or our parents' parents, our grandfathers, etc. believe in. Is what respect, generosity, helping people, different ways, whether it's financial or you know mentorship or any ways, and that's been part of our 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 lives, being part of our. Our culture, let's say, that's how I put it, being part of our culture, it's, it's something we have and it's always going to stay with us. When I say we, I'm talking about my whole family, from my dad, Jordan, my mom, my big brother, Ibrahim, you know, everyone. It's something that our dad put into us. But respect, generosity, follow your religion, what you believe in. And we've we followed that because I think that is part of the base. You know, when I was saying the, the beginning, the foundation is, is part of it. You you can't 
just go somewhere and you look back and you don't have any any base to rely on or what you believe in or what you you know your heart tells you you know to 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 do so no this for me is very important going back home it's not the first time it's not the second time we're not people who who like to expose everything we do you know and that's like i said it's part of our family when we, we do what I like we say donations or whatever it's not everything that has to be in in the, the media in the limelight because it's not done for for showcase it's I think it's done with the heart and to really help those who 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 are in need and respect for me is the most important thing if you're a respectful person you jump to the next thank you very much I, I, I saw trying to understand the reason why it's coming that way or in that sense. So it depends on what the journalist or people or fans, whether had it, tw Twitter yeah, and all these things, social media. media. Yeah. Um, all depends on, you know, where is it coming from? You have to try and analyze yourself. Sometimes it's unfair very dim doesn't make highly, sense highly yeah sometimes it just doesn't make sense and sometimes they have a point but like we say we are human beings in everything there is a way to go about it but we have to know like we say where we are and we're in ghana <laughs> we have 33 million in countries so we need to be able to to manage all these things that's coming with it that doesn't mean we have to everything say amen to it but because also we are, let's say, personalities in our country, and we want to show a good image outside, we can't be going back and forth with our own people, our own media people, our own fans. So sometimes, as a personality, you have to swallow things that you know is exactly. completely emotional. emotional. Right. It's not true or yeah. fake news or whatever. But that's where you're your mental toughness comes and you need to be able to you know endure pain to smile later yes that's my virtue <laughs> thank, thank you Lede. now the last one that we have you know the day uh, jordan this particular picture is just about two weeks ago we visited Panda, mm -hmm. and it reminds me back to your roots always remember Sankova. and this is with you and chief imam your core values, respect, generosity, mentorship. Why do you do these things? Respect for the elderly. <laughs> so tell us, now they, they want to be behind the scenes with you. Oh, um, there are different different ways, you know. Um, at the beginning, it was very, was very, very difficult. I think um, it was something that was difficult to, to, to endure, to swallow. But with time, you get to learn, to understand. And that doesn't mean that when they are talking about you in a bad manner, whether it's proven or not proven or failure or unfairly, um, you try to, to sit back. I, what I personally do is go in my room, relax, have a shower. And then you eat. And I eat. And then you eat. And I eat. Then after, you know, I learned that with time, everything fa fades away. You get better. With time, everything fades away. Bad news, good news. With time, everything fades away. So you have the patience enough. And As the day goes by, you get better. It ends up on But so we'll keep your plan in mind to, to always not give up because people are saying bad about you. Why are they saying bad? Yeah. Is it jealousy? Is it enviness? What you don't know. So you keep your plan and don't move back. Keep going. You succeed. Okay, yes, let's have your question and we come to see you.